Hello there mat lovers, so again this is Larry M. Del Rosario and for today's video, pag-uusapan naman natin kung ano ba ang M does rule. M does rule in mathematics. Okay, lahat naman pamilyar sa M does rule. Okay, pag sinabi natin M, this is what we call the multiplication D stands for the division, A stands for subtraction, and S ay addition, and S stands for subtraction. Okay, kaya lang, nagiging, uh, nagkakaroon ng misconception regarding, multiplic uh, regarding M does rule. Why? Because people think na kapag M does ang pinag-uusapan, dapat laging mauuna mong i-perform yung multiplication followed by division, followed by addition, and last is subtraction. Okay, so mali yung ganung pag-aanalay sa MDAS rule. Ang MDAS rule stands for multiplication, multiplication or division, addition or subtraction. That means, kapag nauna yung division sa operation, kahit nauna pa yung division sa multiplication, uunahin mo pa rin i-perform si division followed by multiplication. Why? Kasi ang rule natin, multiplication or division first, addition or subtraction first. The, uh, the same goes with addition or subtraction. That means, kahit mauna si subtraction kay addition, uunahin mo si subtraction. Kahit ano yung mauna sa dalawa, uh, if follow mo lang yung pagkakasunod nun, since we are referring to addition or subtraction, unless ang pinag-uusapan ay multiplication followed by addition, or addition followed by multiplication. Obviously, ang uunahin natin yung multiplication kasi sa MDAS rule, nauuna yung multiplication or division followed by addition or subtraction. So, para mas maintindihan ninyo kung paano nga ba talaga ang MDAS rule, magkaroon tayo ng example. Let's say, for example, we are asked to find 4, the answer in 4, divided by 2, times 2, minus 3, plus 8. Okay, if we are going to follow the MDAS rule na iniisip ng iba, which is the wrong one, uunahin muna natin si 2 times 2, which is 4. And then afterwards, i-divide natin siya kay 4, which will become 1. Okay. So, 1, and then i-add natin siya kay 8, which will become 9. Then, i-minus natin siya kay 3, that will become 6. Okay, so that's not the case. Okay, hindi ganun yung pag-solve natin using MDAS rule. Sa MDAS rule, kapag nauna si division, uunahin mo pa din siya. Kahit na uh, pangalawa lang si multi, sumunod lang si multiplication, so isusunod mo lang ulit si multiplication kasi ang pinag-uusapan natin, multiplication or division, addition or subtraction. That means we are going to start with division. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1, plus 8 is 9. So our answer is simply 9. Another example. Okay. 5 times 3 divided by 5 plus 8 minus 2. Okay. So, 5 times 3 is 15 divided by 5 is 3 plus 8 is 11 minus 2 is 9. So, we have 9. So, ganun lang yung pagka-solve natin. Hindi natin unahin yung 3 divided by 5. Ay, oh, hindi natin unahin 3 divided by 5. Ang unahin natin dito ay multiplication kasi yun yung nauna. Again, kahit anong mauna kay multiplication or division, wala tayong problema. Kapag multiplication at division lang yung operation natin, susundin lang natin yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng operation. Okay? The same goes with addition or subtraction. So, okay. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something on the MDAS rule. Sana naging malino yung MDAS rule sa inyo kasi it will be harder for you to uh, solve 
even more complicated mathematical problems kapag yung basic or simple MDAS rule ay hindi malinaw sa inyo. Again, thank you for watching. Good day and God bless.